be arrested on Tuesday, shortly after being released alongside his six followers, after they were arraigned in Malindi. Malindi Principal Magistrate Ivy Wasike closed the case and freed the seven, stating that the court lacks jurisdiction to hear their bail application. The case has now been moved to the Shanzu Law Courts, where Mackenzie is likely to face charges under the Terrorism Act for Radicalization. And Asafi Nacheng now reports, televangelist Ezekiel Odero will know if he will be granted bail this Thursday. On Tuesday, the 2nd of May 2023, after spending 14 days in police custody, controversial Pastor Paul McKenzie, alongside six of his followers, were arraigned in Malindi. Mackenzie is being investigated for propagating extremist doctrinal teachings by influencing his followers to starve to death. The death toll from the killer first stood at 110 as at Saturday evening, with more expected to be discovered when the exhumation exercise, which was temporarily disrupted by bad weather, resumes. That the prosecution had earlier urged the courts to close the files of Mackenzie and his co-accused in order for the seven to face terrorism charges at the Shanzu court. My lady, we are looking at charges under quota. We are looking at um, charges under the uh, proceeds of crime and money laundering act. We are looking at very uh, complex investigations, my lady. The case was closed after Malindi Principal Magistrate Ivy Wasike ruled that her court does not have the jurisdiction to hear their bail application. If the suspects will be rearrested once they leave these premises, this court cannot preempt the same and grant bail as prayed by counsel. In this regard, this miscellaneous file is therefore closed. And in regard to the miscellaneous, these miscellaneous files, the suspects are at liberty unless they are again otherwise lawfully held. But moments after he was set free by the Malindi court, Mackenzie and his six co-accused were re-arrested outside the court and whisked away under tight security, with their case now transferred to Shanzu Law Courts in Mombasa, which is more specialized to hear terrorism-related charges. The seven are likely to face charges under the Terrorism Act for radicalization. His former church compound remains deserted and under police guard from last evening after angry residents brought down the stone perimeter wall and destroyed his property. The compound houses a mega church which is now empty save for a broken glass pulpit and an abandoned wooden one. Apart from the security officers, there is no one else on site save for two adjacent graves carrying the remains of his wives lying within the compound. Meanwhile, Pastor Ezekiel Odero of the New Life Prayer Center will remain in police custody until Thursday when the court is expected to determine whether he should be granted bail. Odero who is being investigated for the alleged involvement in the Shakahola mass killings in Kilifi, was denied bail by the Shanzu law courts in Mombasa. The verdict was issued amidst drama staged by his followers present inside and outside court who chanted songs and prayed, demanding the release of their pastor. Safin Achieng Omar, Citizen TV. Well, it is emerging tonight that four